with what that man had to say about the attack, his suffering, and the community's outpouring of support. Stephanie. Jackie, he still has a long road ahead, but when he left the hospital this afternoon, that man said he's grateful to be alive. Meantime, he's hoping detectives from this police department catch the people responsible. He spent more than a week in the hospital. I'm still in pain, but uh, I feel better. And now he has a deeper appreciation for life. That I can see my kids, my family. Although what happened took a lot away. Right now in a really hard financial situation that I don't have a job. I'm not able to perform any job right now. I have no car because they totaled my car. Edward Padznik was a Lyft driver until a request came in on January 13th, a Saturday night that turned him into a victim of a carjacking. He remembers what happened. At the end of the trip, they asked me to make a right on the 10th. I don't remember what's Avenue Street. And this is when the moment I saw the gun. The trip ended near Northwest 77th and 10th Avenue in Miami-Dade, as requested by the passengers, Padznik says. A different drop-off point from the one originally typed into the app. There were two others waiting on the street, he says, when he got there. I didn't know how I did it. I just jumped out from the car and ran. As he was running, he was shot in the back several times, but managed to use his cell phone and call 911. The bad guys took off in his vehicle. I'm blessed that I'm alive, and I don't want these people to hurt anyone that they did to me. Police are looking for those responsible, Lyft cooperating with the investigation. A GoFundMe page has been set up for the man, and so far the community has really come together. He says he's so grateful for the much-needed help. Meantime, detectives here at the Doral Police Department asking for anybody with any tips to come forward or call Crime Stoppers. We're reporting live at police headquarters in Doral. Stephanie Bertini, NBC6 News. Click now.